Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes it truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the future bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Munich, Germany, fast. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And he's hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice punch by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Yeah. 
Look at him drive his shins into his own body with that body kick. Oh, nice. The right hook to the body. Effective punch there by Lit. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Massive head kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Went inside on that leg kick through the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. He caught the kick. Oh! Oh, he hurt that. He hurt that, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful kick. and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Twenty seconds left. Huge block there. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, big punch land. Five minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to keep your hands up, keep moving your head, keep moving your feet, cut those angles, and let's change it up. This is MMA. Put him on his back. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Beautiful strike. 
Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. What a punch. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Nice kick there by Lee. Back and forth we go here. Just missed with that right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in some real quick leg kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. It's such a fast leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Got the single collar tie. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. All right, single collar tie now. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Beautiful body kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. What a tricky head kick. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. A uh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Big head kick lands. Block that kick to the body. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Right hand upstairs! Ooh, big shot lands. Ten minutes in the books. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. 
he's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking a kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Slips. Blocks the shot. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Hands up, hands up. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Oh, perfect head kick there. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Three minutes to go. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Way to hide that leg kick. Good stick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Nice kick. Big head kick. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. He's going to the body there with the right kick. Liver 
kick. Oh! How about those five minutes? Stop, stop, stop. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't oh, shut nice the door. Job. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. What a body kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Attempts the front kick there. Big leg kick land. Quite find that range. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice leg kick. What a punch. right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Three minutes remain in the round. Circling towards the left now. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. That's a big strike right there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice leg kick land. Oh, a huge block there. Right idea, wrong execution. The left punch misses. Leg kick. Nice loop to punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. How about that shin? Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Ooh, blocks the shot. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That was a nice strike. Under a minute to go. Big power shot there. Head kick. Nice connection 
on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Trying to hammer that lead leg. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ten seconds to go. Nice body. Oh! oh! He got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, he hurt a bad with a jab. One, two, punch by him. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice head kick. Nice punch in there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Big kick. Just missed with the left there. to go to decide this one. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Nice punch here. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, Risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Not there. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Check these low leg kicks. Good punch, Lance. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Lance, uh, Lance right hand upstairs. 
big head kick land. Liver kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he engages in the single collar oh. dive. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Collar tie. One day, 15 minutes put forth. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did it.